In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the ZD software. So to get to ZD soft, all you need is just to come to your browser over here and just type in zdsoft.com. I need to bring you over here. So you have two options either to go to download the free version or to go ahead and buy it. Now, if you want to buy, this is the pricing. The free license comes in with watermark on the video and it expires in 30 days. But you can install on any computer and give it a try. Believe you me, you are going to enjoy it. Now, this is the one PC license. Okay. And this is the two PC license. Now, this is the yearly, yearly plans. I believe they are worth it. You can just give it a try. So just go ahead and download it. And then we'll meet on the other side. I've already downloaded and installed mine. So let's uh, give it a try and see what we can do with this very simple software. So all you need is come to a start menu over here and just type um, ZD. And you can see it over here, screen recorder recently added. Just installed mine, like I said. So you can start it like this. Okay, so you can start it like this. At the starting point, you'll be prompted to this. What do you want to do? You have to create how to videos or to capture an online event. For example, maybe from YouTube, you may have a video recording. You can capture it directly or you can record a webinar or a meeting. You can record that directly as it is going. You can record with this very software and then you can record gameplay. If you want to record a gameplay, then this is a, a different thing. You can come over here. But for this tutorial for today, we are going to look at how to record your screen. Um, basically to do a how-to video. So we just click on this to start. Now the first thing you will notice is you will be prompted to select the areas you want to recall. You have the option to select the entire screen or to select a given selected period, a, a given period within your screen that you're interested in recording. So for example, you can just uh, navigate to anywhere you want to record. You just click and you press drag. Okay, assuming I want to record just this section of my screen, you can just go ahead and do that. You can see the resolution and the sizing over here. It's 343, 3433 by 2107. So this is just the, the sizing. Okay. So as you raise your hand, you can see the size, the entire size marked by this green line. Okay. This indicates the area that is being recorded. You can adjust that at any given point if you want. You can just uh, navigate and adjust that to any size. You may want to record only this or you can extend uh, as you so wish. So the first thing I would like to go through is the this little panel where we have most of the key settings to take a look at. So the first one to the left is the record button. Once you click on this, you're going to start the recording directly. Once you click on this, this is going to take a screenshot of whatever you have on your screen. So if you want to take a screenshot of this area that you've highlighted, all you need is just to click on this and it's going to take a screenshot and save it for you in this folder. Okay, so this folder is where it saved all of the content it has created. You can pause a screen recording or a video recording or a meeting recording. Once you're recording something, you can use this key to pause it at any given point. Maybe later I will show you how to pause a given recording. And then by this, this is where you see most of the time spent while recording. If you spend 10 minutes recording a given section or a given tutorial or a given screen, You'll be able to see that 10 minutes recording over here. So the time spent, you will see it over here. At the top here, you have the resolution of the area you are recording. Just like now, we have shown how you will specify the sizing of where you want to record. You can click again and specify if you want to have maybe just this place, just to record just this place. You can specify again uh, just by clicking that area. You can see, so now this is 1145 by 833. And I think this is small. And we want to make it the whole screen, just want to capture the whole screen, something like this. Okay, so this is this part. Then you have the option to enable the playback. Okay, this is the playback. You can enable the speaker. Uh, if you want to capture the speaker during your recording, you can enable it. And this is the microphone that you're going to use. So you can on and off if you want. You can on and off. We'll select the, uh, later I'll show you how to select the, the microphone to use during your recording but you can turn it on or off and then this is your camera it could be a webcam or it could be any any camera source you can capture it from here once you enable this it's going to capture your webcam and as you are recording you can do picture in picture or video in video you can do all that from here okay and this is the type of mouse you can enable the mouse the mouse cursor to show you can enable the mouse cursor to show or not to show from this by just clicking on this it's been enabled. If you click again, it's going to be disabled and throughout your recording, you will not be able to see a mouse. 
And this pen gives you the opportunity to draw while you are recording. So if you click on this, you can be able to write something as you record. Maybe during your illustration, you may want to highlight some things. You can be able to click and highlight anything at any given point. Now you have the bunch of options. You can play around with the thickness of the line. Okay, right now it is 13. You can reduce it uh, to 12 or to 10, depending on how you want it. You see now the thickness is reduced. And you can change the coloration as you so wish. And you can use any shape of your choice. This is normal line. This is an arrow. If you want to use an arrow to indicate something, you can easily use that as well. This is um, rectangle. You can use a rectangle to illustrate something directly during your, your presentation. For example, use this free download to download the software. And this is how code. You can use it also to illustrate by now, okay? Or any section of the video. Maybe this is the illustration or something like that. And then this is the normal free line. You can just use it to just um, draw anything. This is free line. And this one, if you want to do a bullet point, you want to just signify this is number one, this is number two, this is number three. Oh, this is step one, this is step five, this is step six. You can use uh, this to just write all that from here. The next thing is you may want to you may want to change the coloration. You can change coloration from here and just click on this to change the color. For example, now you'll be writing a red. You can change it to something like um, black. You want something like pure black and you can do add custom color if you have the hue the hex code you can also put it and then you can see okay to this and once you start writing it's going to be in black and then we're back to black okay so you can see now when you write it's going to be on black and everything is going to be on black all right so this is that and the next thing is you may want to at any given point this is maximize this you want to make it full screen you want to minimize or you want to close this box this dialog box, you can close it at any given point. Or you want to check in the recording. All your recordings, you can easily access them from here, this folder. Once you click, you'll be able to find all the recordings that you have done and you'll be able to access them directly. For example, I've recorded something like this. This is a screenshot I've taken earlier on when we started. You can just open it, it's a photo. You can see it. It's just a normal screenshot. You can see you can do a number of things also from here. Uh, such as rotation and, and other things zooming in and out you can do from here then you can play the video directly from here or you can go ahead and rename it or you can copy it and take it to any location of your choice you can do some basic cutting and draining from here from these very uh, simple tools you can just select a video go ahead and play it directly from here or you can delete it as you so wish or you can move it to another folder okay so you can check out on these settings, the same settings that we have in the other dialog, this one, okay? You can check on the settings and there are a number of things you can specify from here. For example, the video format, you can specify what kind of recording. This is MP4. If you have other features, other options, well, I strongly recommend MP4. You can go ahead and change the format from MP4 to SLV or AVI. You can change all this. You can change the key frame rate keyframe interval you can see um, the keyframe interval you can change from here the frame rates per second and the default is 30 you can make it up to 120 like we've explained and then you have the resolutions you can change and play around with the resolutions and even preview the resolution from here mm -hmm. then you have the other options like the screen option where to capture you can manually um, select the region or you can type in the region if you know directly and then you have sound sources you can specify the playback source which is this the mic the speaker and then the microphone you can specify what kind of microphone you can use from the list of microphones that you have and specify from here and then you have the other features like the video features just check them around the audio features you can save as mp3 usually the audio is saved as mp3 which is the default and then we have the webcam features in cases when you have webcam you'll be able to select it from here and specify what kind of camera you want to use streaming also you can just paste in the url and you can stream live you can add your logo if you want during the recording like we've explained and then you have the option over here to enable the cursor features like the original cursor size if you want to maintain it or if you want to enlarge it you can have highlight circle which is strongly recommended during recordings, you should have this highlight circle. And this is the color of the highlighted circle. You can change the color of it if you want. But this color, I find it very useful and, and nice. And then you have the click effect. If you click uh, um, on anything during the recording, it's going to show, okay? And then you have the, um, the different coloration also. The left click is going to show this, the right click is going to show this. And then the track effect. 
Usually, I don't like the track effect. It will follow something um, just, just to follow in you as you navigate around. Later, I will show you how to how to use that. Then you can have the click sound effect. When you make a click, it's going to that make that click sound if you enable this um, during the process. I usually I enable it and then click the track effect out. I just to click it out. So once you've set everything, have everything set at presets. So if you are not starting with anything, you've recorded something that you're not so comfortable with it, you can just go ahead and say return to default. Okay, this can be done at any given point. So if you are starting with what you have and everything, you can just go ahead and say okay to this and your settings are now good. You are now good to go and start recording and close on this. And now to start recording, you can always uh, switch this off and you can come over here and start recording. So let's say I just click on record. You have seen the timer. The countdown timer is usually five to one. And now we are live recording. Okay, so for example, we can say, I want to show you how to use this new Bing AI, the latest technology that we have in that Microsoft just brought in. You can just go ahead and do some other things, show some illustrations across. Okay, so we are just recording the screen and this is just a test having all these uh, things on the screen, Bing AI. You can see the timing also of the recording. And once you're done recording or you're tired of recording or you want to pause on the recording, you can always pause from here and you can always resume your recording. At any given point, if you are starting, you're okay with what you've recorded, you can always stop this, okay? And you should be able to find the recording in this folder. Once you click on it, you should be able to, to take you to the folder directly and the recording numbering is followed you can follow and just uh, rename it if you want we just double click and you can be able to see your recordings directly so this is what i have just recorded you can be able to see the green circle around the around the mouse cursor okay and then you can see the navigation just take a look at the clarity and all that it's very very clear and very fantastic very very clear and let's take a look at the sizing it's just 15 megabytes what we've just recorded i think the sizing is good the recording structure is good. The process is simple and the clarity of the video also is very, very nice. So I think this does it for this small, simple tutorial on how to use this simple uh, screen recording software to record your screen, to record your tutorials uh, or they are about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.